Morning all, it's New Year's Eve 2018 and Philly and I we're just going to have a bit of a wander around Tokyo. We're probably going to go and check out Tokyo Tower because we haven't done that yet and it's been like a week since we got here. So that, that should be really nice, it should be actually really quiet and we believe it's open and it's next to Shiba Park. So we'll be able to get like some shots of there as well. And then there's a place called uh, Yanaka, wasn't it Philly? Yeah. Yeah, and that seems like almost like Pontocho that we kind of walked through around Kyoto. Some kind of like, you know, underestimated and really undervalued area of Tokyo. Not that it's bad, it's just not a lot of people go there, so it seems. So we're probably going to be doing that for most of the day, and then we might meet up with Hasagi later on because it sounds like he had a bit of a party last night. So we just got up to the top of Tokyo Tower. Well, I mean, I say the top, we're at the main deck, which is pretty much where you can go, but you can go a little higher, and it's just a little bit extra, but we've got our fill here. It was really funny, because we were at the Tokyo Sky Tree earlier in this trip. Now we're at the Tokyo Tower, which we could see back then, but now we can see the Tokyo Sky Tree, which was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, this place is all right, but you can definitely tell that this place is a little less modern. There's a nice little mall downstairs where we can go and get some lunch. And then after that, maybe we can just walk over to Rapungi. I'm doing this for you guys. So we've just come out of Tokyo Tower and we were having some lunch in the mall downstairs. And we were just talking about spoons and forks, about how some people might need them, we might not. And there was an old man, he was obviously listening and he got talking to a waitress who looked a bit confused because we were eating and we were doing fine with chopsticks. But then not long after he left, he obviously must have asked them it, uh, or us to have spoons. And he just came and brought us some spoons. And yeah, I think this was just a case of things being lost in translation. It was really nice for him to do, but we were okay with chopsticks. <laughs> it was just, yeah, we just got given spoons. And I was just like, yeah, as in we're okay, we're good. But. What a weird thing to do, but nice of them to do. You know, very thoughtful and considerate. It's just old Japan. find us here at Nishindipori Park. It's a really small little park, but it's just so quiet. It's just really nice. I mean, the ground's a little barren, but you know what? Yeah, if this was my local park, I'd be happy. There's no one else here. It's just so nice. Now, this is something I've heard about in Japan, but I've never seen while we were here until just this morning. Coca-Cola plus coffee. Okay, so here we go. Well, so far it just takes up regular Coke. Mmm. That's really, really odd. You know what? That's actually not that bad. 576 short. Oh, this suspense is killing me. Wow. This is Shinokachi Machi, and this is the Tokyo subway. No one around. We found a Hasagi, though. But uh oh. How rare is this? Uh, it's very rare to find me. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm a shiny. <laughs> <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. This is nuts, especially considering this is New Year's Eve. Yeah. Everyone should be certainly on their way to getting absolutely spangled. And here we have Hasagi delicately piercing down the meat of a nearby crab. I got, um, so I gave uh, one of my old students some chocolates for Christmas uh, and in return they've given me a crab. Indeed, Hasagi <laughs> has misgivings about this particular situation. Perhaps I should have given him a football instead. <laughs> video. That's 2019 now. 
even the vending machines can celebrate New Year. Well, if it isn't obvious, we got back to the hotel and we didn't get really to sleep until 3am because we were a bit wired. I think it was all that Japanese beer. We only had like, you know, a can or something like that, which is weird. But, you know, it's now like nearly noon. <laughs> so we definitely needed that sleep. So we'll probably take it easy today. Maybe just have a look around Oshiage and uh, the Skytree Mall. See if there's anything that is open and if there's anything that we may have missed. Nick Cape stole what? Japan, I love you to death, but you can be really random because you go from like Hunko stickers to Disney Princess, Chippendale, Darth Vader. Oh, so cool, look at that. Oh. I don't think Philly and I expected to see the actual fur seals right up close. They wouldn't do that in the UK, that's for sure. But yeah, this aquarium is really, really nice. Just really nice and quite idyllic and chill. The reception here is wonderful. Like, I've never had this happen anywhere. And, you know, that, this is what I love about Japan, the plucky attitude. It's just so cool. What did you go for? Did Say cheese, which I think is cheesecake ice cream, strawberries, and fudge sauce. I think so. And I went for the nut tea cookie, which is pecans, Oreo, and green tea ice cream. And yeah, this is something you can get in Japan. So, story time with Philly. We'll just stare at this blank area. Um, last night, one of the people offered us, or said to us, uh, do you like cow piss? And both Masco and I were like, uh, can't say we've tried it. Well, we tried cow piss, but it wasn't quite what we thought they were talking about. It was this. Now it tastes, uh, this is the soda, um, but we did like it. Uh, and the one which is still kind of has a bit of an aniseedy taste, but this one, which is the soda one, it really tastes quite a lot like Seven Up and Sprite, Sprite, Sprite kind of thing. Sprite but it's really, really nice. Eight. Yeah, no, it's really, really good. So yeah, so uh, I guess we got a little bit misunderstood what they meant when they said calpis. I'm gonna become a pranking channel now. So we're gonna start with the fact that Hasagi didn't get back until noon today. So he was up for pretty much all of the morning and all of the night last night. And he is not having a great time. He is busy trying to get some life within him to wake up. So I think the best present, some of this. Join me. Let's go wake him up. Be sure to smash that like button or lots of other things prank channel say. Hey buddy. I heard you weren't feeling well, so I got you a present. Oh, no. No more. No more. That good, eh? Everything hurts. <laughs> mm, the Sagi's gone mega. My mega form to help with uh, the mega amount of alcohol in me. The Sagi, look out. There's a panda behind you. Oh, God. He's watching oh, you. Oh, that's terrifying. He's happy to see you. Is this what I get for leaving my panda back at the hotel? Maybe. And with that, that's another couple of days done. Asagi, Philly and I were just walking around a very desolate Ueno Park. And it was really weird because like a week ago we were here and absolutely bustling. And now, you know, it's just us and a wandering Starbucks over there. Yeah. Today was really good, but uh, I think we definitely need an early night tonight. Just kind of get our bearings back and then see what we can do for the last few days while we're here. Anyway, yeah, well, guys, take care. Hope you're doing well, and hopefully we'll hit 400k soon. But once again, one is glad to be of service. <laughs>